Scott, after the win against the Hawks, uh, you said that you wanted to be tough to play against. Your backcourt had 10 steals combined tonight between Majet and Doyle. Is that hard enough to play against? Does that meet your expectations? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, we finally um, were, I think, solid for the 40 minutes. We didn't have a lot of dips. Uh, that we've had in the past for longer periods of time. We, we had our moments in this game, but I thought we were relatively solid across the board. And it is one of the things that, you know, I think we got away from a little bit, and that was mostly my fault of just uh, being slightly just more aggressive in general. Um, but, you know, uh, credit to these guys is just, you know, a battle. We've had many battles with them already, and the, to get one from them was great um, after Christmas, and uh, a lot of hard work was put in that game, and I'm extremely proud of our group. And I thought our bench was fan fantastic. I thought we just got tremendous um, production from everyone. Will, your first game back was against the Breakers in Launceston and obviously played them against tonight. What have you seen in yourself over the past six weeks um, in your comeback from a long-term injury? Yeah, I think the games have slowed down a little bit for me. Um, when you're first back out there, it's pretty quick um, and sped up. And you know they're really physical and really up into you. So to sort of debut against a team like that was pretty tough. And I think I've had a pretty good string of games and practices where, uh, you know, I got JB crawling all over me and, you know, he makes it hard for me as well. So um, I get pretty good practice at it, but I think it's slowed down a little bit and I think conditioning's just still not quite there, but it's, it's definitely getting there. Um, so, yeah. Scott, you touched on it just before the bench uh, production. I think it was, it was 39 to 8. Um, how much easier does it make it, I guess, for your starters as well when you've got blokes coming off the bench playing their role? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been the foundation of this franchise for me and the people that I brought in. It's just, this is just a selfless group, and that's what we hang our hat on, of just doing the work every day. And when you get an opportunity to go out there and you can produce, uh, you get it. And uh, I'm quite respectful of that. That's how I was brought up when I played. And um, if you're doing the work and you're and you're doing the right things and you have a chance to get on the court, and you know, I've told these guys many times, I trust them all. I just can't play them all. And so... Um, uh, their roles are different, or, uh, they're unique in some ways, and some people appreciate it and some people don't. I appreciate them all because I just know the work um, and the diligence that these guys fight and, and the passion they have. And it's just a great credit, again, to the bench and just everyone, really, the guys even that weren't in there, our, our values and our culture of what we build um, from that bench group is hugely important to the group. What did you make of Fab's game? He had 14 points in the, in the first half and he hit a couple back-to-back -back threes in six seconds, I think it was. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was terrible because he traveled on the one and, <laughs> and uh, you know, probably he should have done better. Uh, no, I thought he was great. Again, just another guy that, you know, is, is there every day. He's just a consistent force with us. And some days are a little better than others, but in general, just consistent in what he does. And, and the trust factor with our group of putting guys in and out. And listen, you know, um, nothing to take away from Fab. He, he started for us for about 20-some games while this guy was out and took us to the grand finals. And so um, he's a good player, um, and I appreciate him greatly. The rebound count was 45-29. Yeah, I mean, there's a, a few things that we were trying to, especially for this game, but, but like I've said before, we're trying to lay, put some layers on us to uh, hopefully get down the road to where we are lucky enough to get into the, into the finals and into the playoffs. But I think uh, rebounding has been something that we continue to uh, stress. And against this team, they, they kind of out-hustled us a few times. And then, uh, you know, the foul discipline, which was not great uh, in the first half, but was very good in the second half uh, for the most part. So those two areas are continuous things that we harp on. You've mentioned it a couple of times, getting back to that tenacious defense and everything. Do you feel it's sort of back now to, to where you want it to be? Well, I think that we have enough bodies to continue to throw out there and at least be aggressive and smartly be aggressive. And, um, you know, that's been kind of, you know, what we've hung our hat on as, as a team that's uh, going to defend the island, fight as hard as we possibly can for the people of Tasmania. I thought this building was electric tonight. You know, I, I don't always reflect on it uh, after games, but for some reason tonight it was just incredible in there. And... Um, so much appreciated by everyone here. And again, it's for all of Tasmania when we're fighting that way. And um, part of our, our, our makeup and our, our DNA is our defense. You did seem pretty passionate um, as the final buzzer was going, telling the crowd to get up. Did yeah. you sort of sense this is a, quite a crucial game to win, I guess? Well, I think it's just the motion of the game. Um, you know, um, for me, you know, um, I just is more appreciation to the fans. And then I was trying to find Joe Harris, who's in a, in a fight for her life with cancer and trying to find her in the crowd. And, and it was one of her first games she should get to. And it was just after Christmas, so it was quite emotional uh, for me uh, from what my family's gone through with cancer and her battle. So I was just trying to find her. But more than anything, it's just, um, you know, I love, I love Tasmania. I love the fans, and I just love the passion of this uh, team. And, and when this building's rocking, there's nothing better.
Jack McVay has got a reputation for hitting big shots for you guys, and he did it again. I think 77 to 70 when they hit a big three. You called your time out. He came out, hit a big three. Yeah. He um he had two points up until the last quarter, and then he scored 11 in the yeah. last quarter. Yeah. What, what can you say about him? I mean, he's fearless. You know, he just he competes and he's uh, been banged up a little bit and trying to get through some of these uh, last week or two of just some little injuries that have been bothering him. But um, all in, all ready to go. You know, uh, Kelly came in and did a great job while he was uh, got the fouls early and, and maintained the fort for us. And and Jack does, you know, have no hesitation in him shooting uh, shots. And every time he lets it go, I think it's going to go in anyway. So just him spacing the floor and, um, you know, he was just he was really solid again. Last one for me. How was your Christmas, Scott? Yeah, no, it was it was obviously fantastic to have my daughter in town and my wife, and um, you know, it's just uh, special times. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get to the taste of Hobart tomorrow and hang out down there a little bit and uh, enjoy this weather. We would be unfair to not say how was Christmas. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, Mum and Dad flew in in the afternoon, so I got to see them. I haven't seen them for Christmas for a few years now, so it was lovely. Yeah, yeah, Will, just a couple of quick ones. Um, can you just expand a little bit on what you said earlier about how you're starting to, to find your groove a little bit and how the game's starting to slow down? Is this the first time, probably in a couple of years, where you're actually starting to, to feel comfortable back out there on the court? Um, yeah, I mean, I've always felt comfortable. I think um, teams kind of speed you up and, you know, just how quick you how quick the game comes at you when you've been out for 10 months um, is a bit of a shock. So. Um, Scott's always confident in me. My teammates are always pushing me to do more and um, be confident and go score and stuff like that. So um, the confidence has always been there and it's just, um, you know, I kind of have my legs a bit, a little bit later in the game and um, out of make some plays and rebound and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I am feeling pretty good and, you know, it's, it's still a long process. I don't feel like by any means I'm close to where I can be and, um, yeah, I've got a lot, of work, a lot of work to do still. And how much are you looking forward to now, a big game on Friday against the Kings? Yeah, looking forward to it. You know, um, MVP candidate Cooks and, um, you know, that's always a big challenge for me. And, you know, I think Pardon should be an MVP candidate as well. Um, he's a hell of a player and, you know, I really like those big matchups. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it.